Alright boys, this is the last time I'm seeing my computer, my baby, work, before I take it on a plane under baggages and uh, I hope everything goes in one piece. Well, let's get started. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. and. Uh, well, yes, this is the flight during the coronavirus and the airports and the airplane companies, the service providers are being a little finicky about giving more baggages. So I'm not allowed to ca carry more than one, which can weigh up to 20 kgs, which is pretty dumb because what if I want to carry two bags? I have only two small bags and I wanted to carry them both with all the things I have to go back home. But you can. Welcome to the fucked up world. Well, first is obviously turning off your computer. Goodbye, Steam. Goodbye, computer. I will see you soon on the other side. Alright. Let's get it. Alright. Good night, baby. I have so much anxiety right now. I cannot even express it. Alright, okay. So, I have gone ahead and uh, removed the delicate parts of the computer. Which I'm going to carry it with me. Um, with my handbag. I'm gonna carry a normal bag as you can see here R2D2 is gonna be supporting me he's gonna help me out and uh, meanwhile I hope these babies are safe so I just pulled out my hard disk it was dirty it just cleaned it and it looked so beautiful and I just um, pulled out my graphic card and this is the holder for the heat sink and the cooler and I pulled out my cooler too so, yeah, uh, this is my first time ever doing this, so I was really scared, but I managed to pull it off, i um, not going to lie. Now, these components are going to go in that bag, um, I'm going to think about whether I should put them in the box, or should I just wrap them with non-static paper. Uh, sheet and then wrap it up with a piece of cloth or a t-shirt and put up a bag I'm not sure I, don't, I just don't want it to be heavier you know this and the processor box will be pretty heavy so and here we go this is the other side and I have just filled it all up with bubble wrap and some paper some scrap paper I had fill the gaps up so that there's very less movement and even, even if there is in the main component part where my RAM stick is available the fan the CPU processor is right there this is so scary my baby I don't want to put you through this fucking hell but then that we have no other choice well I think the CPU is ready Yep, babe looks ready to go and get packed. Ryzen 5. I love their processor. They have a really good processor. So, it, it, it definitely feels way more lighter than usual. Because I removed the shuntles, the heavy weights. There's this and the cooler, pretty heavy. And, well... Uh, time to go back in the box where you came from all right let's get it this definitely feels weird because this is going back the exact way it came to me I'm sorry guys I mean I'm really emotional to my computer I love my baby she's everything to me and my skateboard but my computer too so there are a lot of space here I'm gonna eliminate this space completely I'm gonna fill them up with scrap paper 
and uh, let's it make it less uh, well vulnerable to whatever is on my fucking way. I've packed it all. I've stuffed some paper inside on the sides and the back and on the front too so that there's less impact on this baby now I'm gonna put the so I have finally completed um, making sure of my monitor properly now I've sealed it in all possible way forwards and backwards and also my case is also done seems pretty heavy hopefully it does not come over 20 kgs which is something I'm scared of so the hard disk I'm gonna wrap it up with my t-shirt that I'm gonna use this t-shirt and this is my GPU so I put it in a non-static um, foil which I had for my motherboard which I got extra ones thank you so much for that Asus and uh, I put the, the antennas for the Wi-Fi there and the last part the cooler is here alright so the hard disk is ready it's inside my t-shirt all safe and sound and uh, coming back to my GPU I put this in the box hopefully I have no questions to be asked and the cooler is in this box that is all I'm all ready to go I'm gonna pack I'm late I'm getting kind of late so I'm gonna pack and I'm gonna just get ready all right I think time to say goodbye has come I'm finally leaving this place I'm going to miss this room this Four four for a room, a square room, which is my personal room, my own room. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss all the privacy, all the fun I had here. And it's kind of getting a li little, a little overwhelming at this point now. So to ease all the tension off, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Hyderabad, huh? It's done. Chapter is over. Time for a new chapter. Well, I had I had a really good time here. Considering the negative points too, it was good times. I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna be depressed about this probably. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my skateboard skate. But yeah, all prepared.
Probably 11 kg, 11.5. Surprisingly low. Probably because they removed the processor on the motherboard. Uh, I hope I get home. That's all I want to do. some good news I just opened up my computer this is my monitor box and and my monitor has arrived in one piece I don't see any problems with it seems alright alright so there you go this is my CPU just pulled out all the paper and dumped it inside that which you can see as you can see my CPU processor is pretty rusty I have to clean it up apply new thermal paste and then replace my heatsink and my cooler so I got the heatsink out everything's alright with the heatsink I got the GPU out Everything's alright with the GPU, no issues, everything is as safe as it can be. You really cannot do anything else in that scenario, right? And my hard drive is also in a perfect condition. No problems at all with it. I'm happy. So yeah, hard disk is alright. So as you can see, I have just cleaned my thermal paste. I've cleaned off all the thermal paste um, from my processor. It's more cleaner than usual. And uh, weirdly enough, I found more thermal paste on the sides. Um, of my processor more than the one on the top really I don't know what the last guy did with the thermal paste I did not I did not apply it it was applied with the person who built this for me 
and well didn't have any complaints with it because I was getting 85 temps most of the time nothing beyond 85 until recently which it did touch 100 but that was solely because I did not clean my um, computer for a long time I cleaned the heatsink and the fan and it went back to 83 temperature maximum with all the pressure on the CPU and the GPU I'm gonna go ahead and apply some thermal paste let's see how this is gonna work okay all right boys I have just applied my thermal paste and I am putting my heat sink in connecting it to the motherboard hope everything's gonna be all right hope the thermal paste is evenly spread out so that you will not have any issues with your performance and I hope to God I don't have that let's go all right boys I have just fit my heatsink and the cooler and it was quite a challenge for me because this was the first time I'm setting it up and I I now understand how the whole fitting of this heatsink works. I mean, you need to equally screw them in. Uh, if you're gonna screw one first and the other next, it's not gonna work out. Um, if you evenly screw them in, it's gonna work out. And then you can use your heatsink, which is lock and loaded now. Done. Now, I'm gonna set up my hard disk. Alright boys, I just set my hard disk up and uh, this was actually the most easiest thing to fit in to be honest, the hard disk you just gotta slide it in and it's gonna get locked the new technology now and then you connect your SATA cable and then you connect the other one and you're all good to go and the last bit is setting up my GPU well, after hours of work I have finally set up my GPU. It's done. It's time to test it. Test it all. And it turns on. And it fucking turns on. Oh my god. I was really hoping for that gigabyte. I was wondering why it was not popping out. Oh my god. So, my cooler seems to work fine. So, my cooler seems to work fine. Hopefully, the heatsink and thermal paste I use is fine. I have to do a proper check, which I will do within three to four days, and probably upload a video about how my computer is doing. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you guys could, you know. It boots up. It's taking a while. Alright, like you see, the PC boots up. It all works fine. I'm not sure what this is about. I have, probably have to set up my computer again, but I'm gonna go through this now. But I will let you guys know later. Please hit the like button if you like it. And uh, thank you for watching. Took my time and you took up my money And now I fear you've left me standing In a world that's so dim